Have you ever noticed any animation mistakes while watching the first Miraculous Ladybug movie, like objects disappearing or color changes? If not, don't worry because we're analyzing them. Let's go. 1. At the beginning of the movie, we're greeted with an ordinary morning at the Dupain Chung Bakery. Marinette gets ready for school, just like at the start of each school year. After having a conversation with her family, she's finally ready to go out and start singing to express her feelings. Everything seems normal until we notice a significant or intentional mistake at the bakery. Marinette's surname is Dupain Cheng. However, if you look at the bakery behind Marinette, you'll see that the surname Dupain is spelled as Dupin. Does this mean she changed her surname? 2. After heading out for school, Marinette begins singing to convey her emotions and hidden thoughts. While she's singing, we see her visiting various locations in Paris, and she even acts in unusual ways. In one scene, Marinette goes down the stairs in a market area. The scene changes so quickly that it's hard to catch, but there's an animation mistake. A vendor and some customers are positioned at the corner, but their positions change as the scene shifts. You can notice it by focusing on the woman. 3. After finishing her song, Marinette arrives at school. However, things are tougher than she anticipated. She feels anxious, and we see a close-up of the school and its students. The scene also includes familiar faces from the series, like Alia. This is another mistake that can only be spotted upon rewatching. If you focus on the scene, you'll see two Nathaniels. One is in front of the stairs, talking to Ivan, and another is walking with his notebook. 4. Marinette is shy and scared of Chloe. She tries to calm herself as she walks past Chloe. However, Nino accidentally hits her with his skateboard, causing coffee to spill on her t-shirt, which makes Chloe furious. She grabs Marinette tightly and threatens her, but after seeing Alia's recording, she lets go. During these different scenes, pay attention to the background. Julika and Rose suddenly change positions. 5. After class, Marinette and Alia go on a break. As Marinette finds her locker, she doesn't realize that Chloe is nearby. Suddenly, Chloe approaches Marinette and starts messing with her. Although everything seems normal, take a closer look at the background behind Chloe. There's no one there, but in the next scene, Sabrina appears out of nowhere. What do you think? Does Sabrina have a secret teleportation talent? 6. After Adrian and Marinette's first meeting, Adrian leaves the library to stick to his schedule. In the library, he was listening to music. After helping Marinette up, by the way, Marinette acted quite nervously upon seeing him for the first time. He's seen in the school corridor holding his headphones. Nino, at the other end of the corridor, approaches him on his skateboard. They have a brief chat, and Nino invites him to hang out. The problem is that Adrian's headphones disappear between these two scenes. What do you think? 7. It's evening, and it's time for the students to go home. Just when Marinette thinks she's finally free of Chloe, she realizes that Chloe is actually waiting for her. When Chloe tries to catch Marinette, Marinette starts running to escape. After a few minutes of chaos, Marinette finally finds a hiding spot. Chloe can't find her and gets mad at Sabrina. In that specific scene, you'll notice a coloring error. Sabrina's bow tie turns pink, but throughout the movie, it was consistently black. 8. After her first transformation, Marinette struggles to control her powers and accidentally hits Cat Noir, who was trying to enter Notre Dame. They fall to the ground, and a problem that persists throughout several scenes begins. When Ladybug and Cat Noir look for clues from the acumatized villain inside Notre Dame, there's an issue with Ladybug's yo-yo and its rope. When Ladybug is using her yo-yo, the rope should follow, meaning there shouldn't be any rope around her waist. But in some scenes, even though she's holding the yo-yo, the rope still appears on her waist, appearing and disappearing randomly. 9. After her first successful defeat of a supervillain, Marinette has to get home quickly. She runs and jumps across buildings, and in one scene, we see her using her yo-yo. Remember the previous animation mistake? While Ladybug flies with her yo-yo, another yo-yo appears on her waist. This would only be possible if she had another superhero with her who could duplicate items. 10. The next animation mistake occurs when Marinette and Alia are out for a walk. Alia talks about how impressed she is with the superheroes and even shows Marinette some photos she's taken. But these photos couldn't realistically have been captured. First, when Ladybug and Cat Noir encountered the monster, there was no one inside the building to take photos. Second, 
When they moved outside with the monster, they were too far for anyone to take pictures. What do you think about that? Ready for takedown. <laughs> Eleven. While spending time at the carnival, Marinette and Alia run into Nino and Adrian, who are also there. Seeing this perfect opportunity, Alia quickly devises a plan to leave Marinette and Adrian alone. The two lovebirds start talking until they notice Marinette's father watching them, which causes Marinette to drop her belongings. But when the scene changes to Tom, and then returns to Marinette and Adrian, we see that some of the items that had fallen from her bag are gone. 12. When a new dangerous acumatized villain attacks Paris, Marinette decides to rely on herself and use her powers. Ladybug and Cat Noir appear at the carnival and start fighting the villains. During the action, Marinette jumps into the air and throws her yo-yo. When she lands, she's holding her yo-yo and gets into a pose. The problem is that the yo-yo's rope remains on her waist even though she's holding it. 13. In Hawk Moth's final attack, Cat Noir decides to confront him alone. He uses his staff to go higher and then activates Cataclysm. But his plan fails, and Hawk Moth manages to trap him and take his Miraculous. When Hawk Moth controls his body and lifts him into the air, we see that the staff behind him, which had already been used, is back in its original position. I replayed the scenes a few times, but I didn't see any other moment where he retrieves his staff. What do you think? 14. After the grand battle, it's finally the Winter Ball at Marinette's school. As everyone knows, the movie ends on a cliffhanger at the Winter Ball. Or you can call me Ladybug. <sighs> Marinette reveals her identity, since she knows Cat Noir's, who is Adrian. To show her knowledge, she throws her mask and the two share a romantic kiss. Although the scene is beautiful, there's an animation mistake here. Marinette throws her mask, but when the scene zooms out, the mask is nowhere to be seen, though it should be on the ground. So guys, these were all the animation mistakes that you've probably never noticed. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments. Also, Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video too. See you in the next one. Take care.